after we kind of look at the three C's, then we can start to understand that each one of those has a lot of different layers and um, that parents need guidance, educators need guidance on how to find things that match each of those three, three C's for kids. In, in this book, in Tap, Click, Read, Michael Levine and I um, put a lot of emphasis on the research around joint engagement with media. Um, sometimes it's called JME, joint media engagement, the idea that children really do learn the most when they're in, engaged with another human being. Usually it's their adult, their parent. Sometimes it's with a, a caregiver, a peer, a sibling. But when they're adult, it, engaged with someone else around what they're watching, those are great moments for learning and interaction. And so one of the things we're doing with this book and with other research is to try to help educators and parents find different products that spark those joint learning moments or that really encourage people to, uh, children to be looking at something together and then talking about it. So they're not just face down in a screen, but that they're looking up and talking with peers and and parents about what they've seen. And, and, and some of this also um, probably doesn't surprise those who understand literacy and literacy research because it comes from the same vein of thinking that um, has propelled the idea of dialogic reading, the idea that it really helps children to have moments where they pause or someone reading to them pauses, asks some questions about the text, looks at the pictures that are in a book. Um, those same kinds of interactions can be applied to the media world and to the screen media world in ways that are, you know, just that could be great on ramps to learning for kids. It's important for children to be engaged with human beings and not just with the device. And we know this from science because certainly just in the very earliest years of life, we've learned a lot about how much social interaction propels learning in babies and in toddlers. And there are studies that show that simply hearing words from a video um, doesn't necessarily help a baby learn those words anywhere near as readily as if a baby hears them from um, a, a person that's interacting with them, that's actually like listening to what the baby is uttering, responding to those utterances, having that real back and forth conversation. Those are the things that are sparking learning and that are kind of changing the development of the brain in good ways. So we, we know that has, it's happening from the very earliest of years. And then we also see research all the way up through, um, you know, into elementary school and, 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 and later that shows that when there are, so Sesame Street research, for example, has shown that when children are watching Sesame Street with a parent and there's some kind of co-viewing going on and it's, and parents may be laughing at the content along with the child or referencing it later in the day, but those are moments that have led to more learning and the kids who have those co-viewing experience are the ones that are gaining in literacy skills but also in all sorts of kind of problem solving and understanding.